welcome to the data channel and uh, you're watching chat cpt for data professional course and as part of this uh, course uh, we are bringing up next video that is uh, categorical data encoding using chat gpt part 2 so in the part 1 uh, like in the same playlist if you go in the, the just before this video we have uh, explained uh, theoretically what exactly categorical data encoding means right and also um like in this particular video we will use chat gpt and we will see practicals of it uh, how a particular data right uh, can be uh, converted into having a categorical value uh, categorical encoded values uh, so which will further help in our data analysis or data analytics uh, or further maybe like uh, machine learning uh, kind of uh, um, algorithms if you want to apply so that this categorical data encoding will be used so theoretically we have seen um, like enough in the previous in the previous video so this video is particularly for the practical purpose right so in the previous video we have seen th uh, theoretically all these uh, what is the impos importance of data encoding and we have seen different encoding techniques right um, and also we have seen uh, like with the examples right we have seen all these examples it's just a quick recap uh, but if you want to see the actual uh, um, the actual in detail uh, so we would recommend you to please go and uh, check the previous video in the same playlist right so before uh, proceeding if you're new to this channel we would recommend you to please subscribe and also press bell button for notifications so let's get started So now let's quickly jump to the chat GPT and we will start uh, exploring the chat GPT um, as a chat GPT as a tool basically right or as a um, as a as an analyst uh, so we will be using as a data scientist in this if you see so we will be using chat GPT as a senior data scientist right so we are defining the role for chat GPT so this is how you start prompting or start using chat GPT right so and you set an expectation or and you are setting a context here that um, the chat GPT role here is as a work uh, he needs to or he or she needs to work as a data scientist uh, with uh, so and so experience and uh, you're setting an expectation so that uh, so the reply or the the uh, the output the chat gpt give response the chat gpt give should be equivalent uh, to this expectation set right so initially i've set the expectation so then um, so it has acknowledged the expectation right and then i start giving the column the sample header column with the sample data right so this is a header so which is having a, this is a id sex age like a federal district location that's the type of city uh, like all these details basically this is an election uh, campaign uh, data right so it is a election related data so we will be getting here and uh, based on this election uh, data that is uh, we got it from kagel so you can get it from any other uh, um, similar websites so and uh, it's nothing that you have to use the same data set so you can use uh, try with the different data sets right so this is the election data set which we got from Kaggle and uh, so we have given some 50 hundred rows here sample rows based on that it was able to identify these are the columns um, which are categorical right um, based on the data set provided the columns that appear to be categorical so these are the eligible columns according to chat GPT and based on this data sample data that we have given so it was able to identify that it has a categorical values right so these uh, columns contain discrete values representing different uh, categories and groups so that is how the categorical values means right it should be having a discrete values what is a categorical uh, what which columns are eligible for categorical um, um, encoding is which is having a discrete value which represent different categories or groups right so then uh, i'll go one step further now to ask uh, right to give me the python code itself uh, to actually um, read this data and perform uh, like uniquely identify the categorical data so it has given some code here so then after that uh, i'll say read the file from basically now let's jump to the 
VS Code setup that we have and we'll be able to identify so we will be executing the exact same code that it is giving and you can see it has taken some uh, it has converted the data into a dictionary the data that we have given as a dictionary with a key as a column key as a column name and values as some certain sample values it has taken and you can see here right the unique values for sex is male and because of sample data it might be right it can be female as well others right and the unique value for will vote is these two unique candidates it is these two per people and income is very high there can be other categorical values this is a sample data right so basically what exactly categorical uh, encoding means is uh, grouping so the the if we take a timestamp right it cannot be grouped into one category right and if we take a salary it can be grouped it again depends but if the if the distribution is very huge so you, you can uh, choose the different type of distribution where it will be arranged uh, salary but here uh, if you see it is able to identify the like employment type so work for hire unemployed employee student so this is basically a what we call it as a categorical uh, encoding uh, i mean the the columns that will be eligible for categorical encoding so we have not started the encoding here right so further i am asking to read the file from the local path right so it has given the local path here so i can specify the local path and replacing the local path with your exactly file where you where your file exactly is present right and then uh, below is the output value of the code give so i have executed this the same code in the vs code and uh, i have given the output of that right so based on this output let us see what exactly happens right so this is my code again i'll just replace this code and i have the path so i'll just give the path for it as you can see so instead of uh, just a sample data i've given actual data now so it's able to identify more uh, like more distinct values now because it is a full data huge data itself right so it is able to identify male female and more uh, distinct values now right so now as a next step what i'm asking is uh, so i told uh, chat gpt that okay this is what i the result i got right um so based on this result that i have got uh, so i'm giving the result itself to the chat gpt so again so it will refine basically right so because if previously it was a sample data now it is the actual whole data so i'm giving the output of this uh, as well right the output what we got uh, which is having a unique value so based on that it actually um, recalculated or reconsidered the um, categorical values and also it categorized as a nominal columns and ordinal columns so these are the nominal columns and these are the ordinal columns right so ordinal why so ordinal is, is is like a it's having an order right it can start with 0 1 2 3 4 it is just like a rating so you can give income very high means you can give it as 5 4 3 2 1 0 right so it's an ordinal column so that theoretically we have explored what is ordinal column so and uh, another one is nominal so nominal is like it's having a each value doesn't uh, actually relate to other values and you cannot uh, rank them basically that's called the nominal values uh, like unlike uh, the ordinal values ordinal values you can rank them basically right so now it it reconsidered that particular thing and it has given like we separated that code for ordinal and nominal as you can see here let's reconsider this code try to execute this again so only thing i need to change is the path which is the path and then I re-execute it so as you can see uh, it has separated the nominal values and ordinal values right and it is giving the output now right so now so again we will go for the next step where I asked Python code to generate encoded numerical columns for all these categorical columns because see now you we have just identified the the eligible columns for ordinal and uh, nominal or categorical uh, columns right which are eligible for categorical uh, encoding basically but now we should start creating a 
categorical encoding right so that's where i've asked it um, so to start converting that into categorical values uh, so now we will see how exactly that looks like right hmm so we got an error so we'll go back and ask okay we have got an error so then it's saying that the error indicates that one hot coding no longer expects sparse and this is so and so is now sparse output so it is able to give the explanation and the corrected code right so let's try this again we got an error so again we go back to chat gpt right so again we will ask it if there is any error and it is again giving the exact value so here we will give the output path now right so we will give something as ov1 that is output 1 so now it is already kind of a executed and it has returned it to a final location so let's see that final location as you can see it has created that we were one here output version one here so as you can see uh, so it is not only just uh, created the i mean it just also used the co concept of uh, started the encoding actually if you see here right so sex female zero one right so zero means it is not female one means it is female so basically uh, instead of just using the column b it has created two separate columns for each categories like male and female and it is using the numbers here instead of the actual values which were in strings right so that way so if you see for all the categorical values it has done that right so it's just a zero and one combinations and if there are like 10 different columns uh, different co uh, different distinct values so it will create a distinct uh, uh, columns for each right and uh, so it will start if it is one if it is one uh, if it is present if it is it then it will be one if it is not then it will mark it as zero right so by and if you see here right so it is just uh, we started with few columns but now it is 96 columns right so that is the um, there's a that is the expectation of uh, um, encoding like um, whatever we are doing categorical encoding to increase the number of columns which actually help in um, the data analysis so not just increasing the columns but like those will be quantifiable uh, in terms of zeros and ones and in terms of numerical values so that when we perform the analysis uh, so it, that will be exactly helpful right so now so this is about uh, Mm, that and now again let's go to chat gpt so we will further we can fine tune and ask couple of questions right can we include age as well as a categorical column so it has included age as well here right so and there is an error we got we gave that to chat gpt it has fixed it right so then again error we got so the same error uh, it was able to identify and kind of a fix it and also gives the explanation of that error right so what exactly you need to try and what, like what are the different things you need to try and how do you revise your code right like and finally like we uh, are at the final uh, code where exactly this is our final copy of code we will try to execute the final copy of code now uh, we're just replacing the the path here right and here also we will just replace the path okay and uh, here we just mention now ov2 which is the output 2 right so now it has executed and you can see how many columns one or three columns it has created uh, including the original columns uh, obviously uh, 
so I can just open 0 to now which is just created right so as you can see here uh, there is columns for each of these right can go to the right and you can see so this is called encoding actually and uh, so this is just the pre-processing step of when before starting the analysis right so he has not started the data analysis here so we are preparing the data and you can see here we have included age as a bin so this is one one of the things i wanted to highlight here right so uh, what we did here is uh, instead of uh, so age was not included in the categorical value if you remember right so we wanted to include age as a categorical encoding encoded column so what we did is uh, we asked chat gpt to include uh, age as a uh, binit column so what it uh, what it is done is uh, basically it has created a range 25 to 34 is one range right so as you can see 18 18 is between uh, so if you see bin age is 25 to 34 so if you see 67 so this is like this is a bean age so it is able to categorize it basically right right so it might not be accurate sometimes it it has uh, its own calculations here so it is like 54 also it is categorizing it as 54 55 to 64 and you can ask ChatGPT to i can correct it right but it is able to do that uh, bin uh, encoding and you can see here uh, so not only just created the bin column so it also so if it is 25 to 34 so it has marked it as one so let us see what is what was the age age was 18 so then it should mark it as one so for 18 to 34 so the calculation is uh, certainly wrong here the age bin column is wrong so you can again ask chat gp to fix it but conceptually what we are saying here is uh, it has included age as a bin column here so it has created a range and for each range of age uh, uh, it has created a binit columns okay so this is just a conceptually to understand how what are the things you can do right so because you created a range here uh, so you can categorize it as a youth you can ca categorize it as children like middle age old age right so you can categorize um, uh, people into different categories and based on that category you can perform analytics so that's the advantage of categorical encoding so uh, in this video we have uh, predominantly seen how exactly um, chat gpt can uh, come as a tool uh, to kind of perform or to create a categorical encoded columns uh, for any uh, any data set right i hope this was useful thanks for watching